In this chapter, we will once again look at how we work with the timeline in EDIUS. For this section on the timeline, I would like to work mainly in dual mode. We covered this to a certain degree in our introduction to EDIUS 6. I can here, above the view menu, choose one of two modes. First of all, the single mode, in which we can see a single preview window, and also dual mode, in which there are two preview windows. First, a quick recap. If I am working in dual mode, then the left-hand preview window will display the clip that has been selected in the bin. This, in my example, is this clip. In the right-hand preview window, I can see the preview of my timeline contents. This window is in my case black, for the simple reason that my timeline doesn't contain any clips for the minute. To start with, I'd like to point out some preview options available for this preview window. Here, under the menu View, we see the subsection Overlay, and in this section I can select or deselect certain preview options. To start with, I would like to discuss the Safe Area option. If I activate this option, we can see an additional inner frame in the preview window, which shows me which image content will be displayed on playback, and more specifically, will be displayed on older CRT displays so any important image material should be displayed within this frame, especially titles or moving titles, as these should certainly be visible. I will for now deselect this option via View, Overlay, Safe Area. And now we can check the next important option out, this option being the center cross. This is basically an orientational aid. If I am performing various layout procedures, with the center cross option active, I can clearly see the position of my objects in relation to the center point of the screen and the individual quadrants. I'll deselect this option as well for now. The other options I will leave in their default settings for now. The final zebra option that is left open will not be discussed in this basic tutorial, but will be covered in an expansion course where we will discuss color and brightness correction in depth. The other options of Clip Device and Marker I will leave selected for now. They are for the displaying of markers or clip and device names in Overlay. Concerning display options in Preview, there is a further subsection that is interesting under On-Screen Display. With this, I can specify certain things that relate to Preview, amongst them the status of the Preview. If I change this, which can also be done via the key command Ctrl G, then I can see the timecode display in the preview window. With playback and timecode, I also have a volume meter. This is of course useful, but for my current needs rather confusing, as I am working with small preview images. So I will deselect the timecode display option via the key command Ctrl G.